man. You know, there was not because there's no there was no CGI back in those days, and like there was no trying to be cool and like the kills in Predator One. Like man, you were like man, this guy got taken out. Like when Blade got taken out, that guy got taken out. When they took Mac out, they took Mac out, and it was interesting. I remember Mac was like in, 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 in the bushes, and then the thing came like behind him. You know, and then he thought that he was still looking at it, but the thing was right behind him. Then he looked up and was like, doo, 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 psh, "Dudes, they, I mean, that's what I'm talking. That's what I'm talking about. Like, it's just a different kind of mentality." Guys, I mean, you know what? I'll I'll just say this. Um, this could be just another horror survival movie. And with just the fact that it's with predators in it. I mean, that's like the bottom line. Like that, when you're watching, it's like w if it wasn't for the mere fact that predators exist or predator exists and the whole mythology of that thing exists and you can draw on all the allusions and nostalgia and music and character design and all that. What in this is really that different or better than any old survival horror movie, you know? So that, that's the point I'm trying to get at here. Think about it. The reason why Predator 1 wasn't like any old survival horror movie was because of the people in it. It was about the characters. It was about Ventura. It was about um, um, Arnold. It was about Carl Weathers. It was about those guys. Think about it. And listen, the way I'm talking about this movie is not the way I talked about AVP 1 and 2. AVP 1 and 2 were just rubbish. Like, just forget about it. I don't even... Just forget those things. You can't even... Like, we, we did we did the... We, we talked about that. Forget it. This thing, you talk about this because there was a lot in there. There's a lot to say. Like, they had the music, man. Even that. I'm like... This is why I said that these guys, you're obviously fans because... They, I mean, they had the tracks. And the tracks... I'm, man, you know, I was just sitting there, man. My it sent a chill down my spine, man. I'm sitting in the, the cinema and I'm just hearing the music. You know, da, na, 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 with the forest and everything. I'm just like, man, jeez. Whatever happens to movies. The feeling I was getting in there, I'm like, man. There, there used to be a time when movies were actually good, man. We used to go to the cinema, we used to get your DVD, we used to watch this thing, like, like, man. It's not like I'm older now, it's just that movies have changed, man. Because I'm watching this thing, even the end. When the end came and they said, do 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 I'm like, man, after whatever happened? So I'm seeing all that and I'm like, oh God. If you know, I mean, if they could have just cast this movie with the kind of people that was in Expendables, can you imagine how good this thing would have been? If they just made it, if Stallone, like, they just got like those guys. And put them in this movie. It would have just been better. And just had that mentality. Just had the same mentality. And had like 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 Dolph in Predators, for God's sake. Had the Koto guy. Had Jason Statham. Just put Jason Statham in Predators. Give me the cast of Expendables. Put them in Predators. It's a whole different ball game. It's just a different ball game. Just it's different. Because the thing is that a lot of the guys in Expendables aren't even really actors. They're action stars. And that's exactly how you cast Predators in the first place. I understand what Robert Rodriguez was doing. He was like, we want to make this difference. We want to... But the thing is that you have to understand, like, Predators is a particular kind of thing. You can make it different, but it can't be that different in essential terms. Like, the fact is, these beings are too strong. They're too clever. They're hunters. They're professional, bred, superhuman, alien hunters. You cannot put them up against Adrian Brody. I'm sorry, you can't do it against Topher Grace, a serial killer. You're going to put a serial killer in the jungle against super predators? Like, what were the predators even thinking? Like, oh, he's going to do some kind of mind games on us and then maybe poison us in our sleep when we're hiding in a tree. Come on, guys. Let's, let's get real here, guys. Come on, guys. You know, come on, guys. You know. Let me look, I've talked, okay? I've preached, I've talked. You know where to find the Mac. I've, I've put a lot of questions out there. Put a lot of questions. www.talkbackworld.net Where real fans roam. 
I've put a lot of questions in the wind because as far as I'm concerned, look, it's a very weird one to discuss because the movie was actually, you know, if I didn't know Predators, I'd never seen it before, it's actually good. If I'd never watched a Predator movie before, I didn't know about Predator 1, well, uh, you watch the movie, the movie's actually good. And that's what's scary because all the young kids who don't appreciate Predator 1, a lot of them who have never seen Predator 1 as well, are going to watch this and this will become Predator for them. And that's just sad. Because any male young guy of the age of like 10 to 12 and up who should not be watching Predators but did like we did, you deserve to have Predator 1 in your life. You know, you've got to, this should not be your equivalent because this is just going to mess you. Like, it's just, just not, shouldn't be the equivalent. All right, guys, I've preached. Bay out, Spielberg in.